This week, we are going to create a data-driven MVC web app. Uh, so there is a lot of information that we are going to be going through. Uh, we are going to be basically uh, creating the music list that is in Chapter 4. Uh, and you're going to want to kind of read through this because I do provide a little more background on what we're doing. Uh, we're basically doing uh, code first uh, migrations. And so um, prob I'm providing a little more background than the book. And uh, to help you get through this, um, I am giving you some code that you can copy and paste to make this uh, go a little bit faster. Um, I'm also giving you a starter file because we already know how to create an empty uh, application. So there's really no need for you guys to go through all of those steps. Uh, so I created it for you. And you can just download that uh, from GitHub. And in this little section, I basically give you more background on DB context and DB set with some graphics because to me, graphics are easier to understand. I'm visual. And then uh, you will walk through creating the context class. So uh, if you walk through this, it will direct you to the pages in the book that you need to look at. And by the time you are done, you are going to have an application that allows you to add, update, read and delete so you're gonna it'll do all the crud functions uh, now i do include some new information that's not in the book uh, because the book does not cover uh, scaffolding at this point but uh, i think it's super useful to know how to do this um, and so i actually do have you use scaffolding to generate a controller and views for the genre class. And this walks you through how to do that. And the video shows you. Uh, after you get done creating the user-friendly uh, URLs, you're gonna be done with this, um, and you can put it on GitHub. Now, because you cloned mine, uh, to add a new project to GitHub, you have to delete the Git folder. Uh, and this uh, video covers how to do that. Once you're done with the movie list, you are going to be adding uh, a model to the app that you worked on last week. So it needs to have at least four properties. And you need to include the data uh, annotations and use the conventions that we learned today so that you have a primary key and all of that. And then you're gonna be adding Entity Framework because your project probably has authentication, it is going to work a little bit different than music list. So um, instead of adding entity framework, you're going to be updating the installation. Uh, adding a context class and seed data is going to be very similar to what we did today. But um, when you get to the connection string, there is already one there. And you do not want to mess too much with that because it'll break your app. So the only thing that you're really going to change is the name of the database. So make it a more friendly name. You'll see the default name is ridiculously long. So make it more user friendly. Uh, then for the dependency injection in the startup, you will notice that there is dependency injection there already. And this is for the authentication registration component. They have their own context file. So you will notice that for getting the connection string, it's default connection, okay? And so you need to use that same convention down here. So 
we can tell it the name of our context, but we all have to use the same connection string. So it does not matter how many context pages you have, they all have to use that same connection string. That is super important. Um, so this is going to be just a little bit different than movie list two. For the migrations, that's also going to be a little different um, because now we have two contexts, right? We have an application DB context and we have the context you created. So you just have to tell it the migration that you're adding, what context is it for? And when you update, what context are you updating? And that tells it what tables it needs to change or create. Okay, so a little bit different. Uh, the video that I have walks you through the process. Um, I actually walk you through the proce process in my fitness app. And then uh, my fitness app has two models that I uh, did a foreign key relationship on. You guys only have to have one. Okay, so you don't have to do the foreign key relationship yet. Uh, but I did do a little tweaking of controllers and views so that I could get a little drop down list. And I also have a BMI calculation that I wanted to add. So this video shows you how I did that. And then if you want to download my app and take a look at it, I am providing it for you as well. So this part you are going to do on your own. However, if you run into problems, I am happy to help. So hope you all have a good week and let me know if you run into any issues.